how everybody's doing today. Hope you guys are family better. Hope you guys got a chance to grab everything you want to grab, tuck into your collection, forget about it, and hopefully down the line look like something. You know, we promote on this channel, guys, collect what you like. Cause damn what everybody else is talking about. You know why, right? You know why, right? Of course you do, because we're too busy collecting what we love collecting out here, guys. Alright, let's get into it. Today, it was going to be like, I was going to rag a company today. I mean, really rag them. And then I sat and thought about it. I said, yo, this company really did something heroic for the Funko community. Why would I rag them? So this is what this video is about, guys. Today, we're going to give this company its due accolades. Because this company did something truly heroic. I say heroic. And I'm not using the word loosely because they did they was my hero in this in this in this situation right here. Because as we all know, SDCC was a bleep 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 show. And um, you know, a lot of us collectors, we was upset. It was manual boys against the bots, man versus machine, and machine won as usual. And um we was left assed out, guys. And we had no savior. The only thing we had, the only outlet we had was secondary market. And as we all know, secondary market, these pots just... They saw they, they gone, they gone. Get the back out of here, over the park. So yeah, and um, this company decided to you know, put their big service, because I'm sure they have bots, because if I was a company like this company right here, I would have a bot myself, because we, you know, if I was a company, we thrived ourselves off of collecting exclusive pops to keep you guys, me, myself included, buying from them. So, you know, um, their service definitely did their thing. So, you know, it was like, it was like, I look at it like, you know, these guys, these guys really could have took these pops, these items, because these items are fetching really high numbers on secondary market. They could have took these pops and listed these pops however they would have chose to list them for inflated prices. But instead, they chose to sell it to the collectors, afford the collectors, you and I, the opportunity to buy these pops online with no hassle. It was no hassle, easy pass, VIP, RSVP, being on there. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was just that simple, man. I want this, I want this, check out, come, catch me in traffic. And that's what it was. They, they afforded us this opportunity. I don't know how many of you guys actually got a chance to, um, purchase these pops once it was listed, but um, if they're still up for sale, which I pretty much doubt, but I will leave a link in the description for you guys, so you guys could probably possibly try and get something, or whatever's left over, you know what I mean, but um, and this company is called Chalice Collectible, you guys are awesome, and you guys are very much appreciated, and from me to from my channel to you, thank you very much. I got a chance to secure two pops that I really wanted out of the whole convention and wasn't able to secure. You guys afforded me the opportunity to secure them. And I thank you guys, thank you so much. And that was the Masters of the Universe. Got to get uh, 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 the Claw Dude and, and the other home team, you know what I'm saying? Got to grab them two and secure them. And I'm happy, and um, I want to give these guys their accolades because, you know, we all know they could have took them and sold them secondary market. They could have did a whole bunch of other things, you know what I mean, and kept it under the radar, and nobody, we would have been oblivious to it, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's the name of the game, guys. It happens in a sneaker game, it happens in a clothing game, it happens in anything hype, anything with resale. You know, I hear people that don't really know about the stock X movement, the clothing movement, and all that, and the resale movement. It, you know what I mean? I hear them try to chime in. 
They got it twisted, doggy. This is what the game is, man. We just got to find ways to evolve and, you know, push forward, man. You know, there's ways to combat it. We just got to be on top of it. That's why I ain't really get too stressed. Because I know a few uh, uh, cook groups that probably cook. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's, it's just the name of the game, guys. And, um, and I'm glad these, these this company... Chalice Collectible took its time to, you know, uh, uh, be considerate of the actual collectors, man, and that's super dope. So if you guys follow these guys, Chalice Collectible, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever they may be, please chime in on whatever post they had, most recent post, and let them know. Say thank you, man. Give them they accolades. Let them know thank you. Some doggy sent you while you had it too. But um, yeah, man, this company is super dope, and I, and I stand behind them, man. That was that was really dope, man. Because I was gonna cook them. I was really gonna cook them, man. Because I was like, yo, man, these was the culprit. They was the culprit the whole time. You know what I'm saying? They was the culprit. They was the ones that the Toy Tokyo dropped that we couldn't get in. They, they, they the ones that bum rushed the gate and stampeded the security guards, kicked the, the helpers to the floor, grabbed everything off the shelves, hit the back door and was out. There was nothing left for us, man. The ones that waited online patiently, like, you know, school. Like, like we just, we was just, we was just victims, man. We was victims of a crime. God damn it, nah. But nah, for real, old man. Uh, Chalice Collectible, man, you guys are super dope, man. We appreciate you guys, man. I'm sure I speak for everybody in the community that got a chance to buy these pops a little bit above retail. Not even, like, killer prices, bro. Like, like really, really below, like, you know, it was close to retail. It wasn't too much off retail for the pops. So that's, like, super dope in itself. They could at least put a little high ticket. They could have did anything with those pops. But man, yeah. these guys, what they did speaks values, man. They deserve all the accolades coming to them, man. You guys are super dope. Thank you for tapping in, guys, man. This was just a quick little brief, you know, how Doggy feeling about the situation and how Doggy scored. You know, I'll leave a little, little picture right here, how, how things went, how the site looked, how they, you know, presented the pops itself. Convention pops, you know, they sold out pretty quickly, the most hyped ones, but, you know, for the most part, you know, if you got a chance to, to secure what you wanted to secure, that's all that matters, man, you didn't have to pay no secondary uh, prices, no flipper prices, and everybody walks away happy, you know, and that was the whole object of the game, that was the whole, you know, that, that was everything, but, you know, I also respect the hunter of the game as well. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of a lot of a lot of people move around them them online sites and and, and and they ferocious, man. They ain't playing. So while we was in queue and waiting for shipping rates and all that other mess that they, you know, that Funko laid on us, you know, I already knew the box was in there, either the boss, people, whoever got in, cook, got a chance to cook. You know what I'm saying? Especially Boss, because from, from what I'm hearing, they killed the Shopify site maybe like 10 minutes prior to the actual time it was supposed to release. So, you know, that's another thing. And then Toy Tokyo did the same thing. It was just an all the way bleep bleep show. So, you know, thank you again, Child's Collectible, man. Shout y'all out. And um, I'm going to leave you guys to it, man. Regular business back to it. You know what it is. Doggy, man. And, um... You know what we're going on with the channel, guys, collect what you like and damn what everybody else is talking about. You know why, right? You know why, right? Of course you do, because we too busy collecting what we love collecting out here, guys. I'm going to leave y'all to it, man. See you on the next one, doggy.